Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into something vital for agriculture and food production, irrigation. It's how we bring water to crops when rain isn't enough. Let's explore different types of irrigation systems, their pros and cons and why they are so important for farming. Let's start with well and tube well irrigation. Wells are common in places like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Tamil Nadu. Tube wells powered by electricity can irrigate large areas and are especially useful in states like Punjab and Gujarat. The good part? It's one of the cheapest methods and reliable during droughts. But it has limitations. Wells can dry up during long dry seasons and tube wells can overuse groundwater. Next, we have canal irrigation. Canals are like lifelines for farms in areas with flat fertile land. Most of India's canal irrigation happens in Uttar Pradesh, Haryana and Punjab. It's great for year-round irrigation, but canals can flood nearby areas during heavy rains and are less useful in rocky or uneven regions. Ever heard of tank irrigation? It's popular in places like Karnataka and Odisha. Tanks are simple, just a bund or small wall built across a stream to store water for later use. While tanks are cheap and long-lasting, they tend to dry up in summer when water is most needed. Plus, lifting water from tanks is tough and can be expensive. Let's move on to drip irrigation. One of the most efficient systems, water is delivered directly to plant roots through tubes or emitters, which means less water is wasted. Ever seen sprinklers in action? Sprinkler irrigation mimics rainfall by spraying water into the air. It's great for uneven lands and works well with most crops, except water-heavy ones like rice. The downside, sprinklers can be costly and less effective on windy days. Other methods include furrow irrigation, where water flows through trenches between rows of crops and ditch irrigation, a more traditional method using small canals dug alongside crops. To sum it up, each irrigation system has its pros and cons. The key is understanding your soil, water needs and weather patterns to pick the best system. With a smart irrigation, we can grow more food using less water. Let's see how well you have grasped the material with this question. Which irrigation method uses tubes to deliver water directly to plant roots? Sprinkler, canal, drip or tank? Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more farming tips. Let's grow together.